everyone and welcome back to Kate Sports New England. A generation ago, the sports world used to be dominated by males, but thanks to Title IX, that's not true on the field anymore. And thanks to sportscasters like Sage Steele, we're seeing more women in the world of sports off the field as well. Alex Reamer got to go to ESPN and learned this when he talked to Sage Steele one-on-one. -on -one. So Sage Steele, you began working in South Bend, Indiana. You moved to Tampa Bay, you moved to Comcast Sportsnet Mid-Atlantic. When ESPN comes calling, is it a feeling like I've made it? It is for me because in the eighth grade I announced to my parents that I wanted to be on ESPN and specifically ESPN Sports Center. So um, for me it was, it was, yes I've made it, but it was also the culmination of a dream come true from a, a childhood goal I set for myself. As woman in sports media, Sage, your life is easier more difficult or the same as your male counterparts? I really try not to look at it that way and to base every so much on gender. I mean, it is inevitable and I, really unavoidable because there are differences, but I think there are advantages and disadvantages. Um, disadvantages, obvious, you know, people will automatically say, well, how, do you, how can you talk about football on SportsCenter? You've never played. Has Bob Costas right, <laughs> played exactly. Major League Baseball? Right. You can go down the list of people who are phenomenal sportscasters who have never played the game past high school. I played flag football in high school. That can't, don't I qualify? So there are advantage, disadvantages in that way, and people are always going to stereotype you. But you got to get over that, male or female, in this industry. I still look at the makeup of sports media, and I still see a lot of white males. I don't see as diverse a group as you see in other realms of media. Do you agree with those feelings? And if so, how does it affect your performance, if at all? I disagree with that in sports media. I really think, um, if I mean, look at, and yes, sideline reporting wasn't as big of a deal back then either, but you have women everywhere, primarily women, doing sideline reporting. NFL games, NHL games, women, men, There's there are many more African Americans, Hispanic, Asian as well. As much as we need diversity, I also don't ever want to be hired because right. I'm taking care of two things for them, female and African-American female. I, I don't want to be right. brought in for that reason. Right. I really Trying struggle because I'm the best person for the job, not because I'm really making that company look good on the diversity level. Welcome to another live edition of Sports Center alongside Hannah Storm. I'm Kevin Agon. Yeah, we got a little punchy on Friday. <laughs> this happened last fall, back-to-back uh, -back sports centers, the 9 a.m. to noon and the noon to 3 Eastern time. It was Hannah Storm and Linda Cohn tossing off to Chris McKendry and myself. Four women, six straight live hours of Sports Center. That didn't would never have happened before. And guess what? It didn't happen on purpose here. It was an accident. They put four of their best people out there at that time of day, you know, prime time, you know, daytime hours there, because we're available and we work here and we're qualified, not because, ooh, let's make a splash, there's four women. Ooh. I, I really think it's come a long way. Still room to, to, to improve, of course, but it's much better. Sage Steele, thank you for your time. You're welcome.